Hi guys, I know you have been waiting for this video for a while. Um, I'm happy and sad that I can finally deliver it um, and let you guys in on what's been going on behind the scenes. Um, I want to start off by saying that everyone's support um, throughout my silence on Sereno um, has been really appreciated. Um, I only wanted to make the video um, when I was certain of things and when I felt like I was ready as well. So I'm in his field now, which is his happy place. Um, and uh, we're just going to be chatting and letting you guys know what's going on. So as you guys may know, I bought Sereno about three years ago. Um, he was uh, an amazing, huge stallion. You guys know I've used that word quite a lot with him. He caught my eye straight away. Uh, I brought him here to the Netherlands, we started training uh, and we unfortunately started running into some problems um, and that's kind of related to his health. We um, took him out of the field one day and he had an impact injury on the hock um, which we had to operate because I wanted to make sure that he would not have any issues as a performance horse in the future. Um, so once we, we operated he needed to have a long rehabilitation process which meant you know two months in the stable um, and then slowly bringing him back through the work um, and he managed to pull through that really good uh, and he made a full recovery and we were doing really really well um, and then after about a year uh, we got the second blow which was a suspensory tendon injury uh, now this is something that also came out of the blue he came in from the field one day we don't know what happened uh, but he was lame in the trot. Even with this diagnosis, we were able to turn it around. Sereno had to do about a month's box rest. Um, we slowly had to build him back up. We could only walk him by hand, then he could go in the sand paddock, then into the field. Slowly we could um, introduce some lunging, walking in the saddle, until after six or seven months, he was back to doing some light work. Um, after another six months, things were great. Things were, were looking really, really good. Um, and so I decided to reach out to a close friend of mine called Alize Fremont. I think she's actually one of the best riders in the world because not only does she have an amazing classical dressage background, she also has an amazing feeling with horses. She was able to touch both sides that he needed because not only were we having issues with the body, um, mentally he also had a few little hicks. And this is exactly why I thought Alize would be the perfect person because she has that really sensitive, emotional touch where she could really kind of connect with him and help him through that as well. Uh, but she had that classical dressage to kind of back um, the aim that I had of, of doing top sport with him. He was at Alize's for six months, uh, which was amazing. It was such a privilege to even be there with him and I was able to have a couple of lessons and everything was going super well. But then I got the text message I was hoping I would never receive and that was that Serena was lame again. Again, we didn't know what happened, what caused it, but somehow there he was coming out of the field lame. Uh, Alize was obviously super upset because we had both put in so much time into him. Um, we had worked really, really hard to make sure he was healthy and happy. Um, and we kind of found ourselves back at square one. Um, I had my vets look at him again and turns out that that same suspensory injury had flared up again. Um, and that, that really hit me more than a new injury because I now started to feel like this was going to be a problem that was going to keep coming or at least potentially keep coming. So um, I kind of had to sit down with everybody that was involved in Serena's life, my trainer, Alize, yes as well. Um, and I kind of just talked to everyone and I just kept coming to the conclusion that there's something here that's not working, that something is not going right. and. Something was just telling me that his body couldn't deal with the work. Um, from talking to others, they were agreeing as well. We just felt like, you know, we had tried for three years and every year there was some injury or something setting us back. And at some point you have to listen. We, I had to listen to Sereno and I feel like he was just telling me that his body couldn't do it. Um, and um, it brought me to a very difficult place because I had to make two very, very, difficult choices. 
um, and the first choice was that I was not going to ride him anymore. Uh, the reason for that being he was lame at the time. He's no longer lame now, but at the time he was lame. Um, and I also felt like we couldn't continue on the path we had made because the, the risk was too high that it would happen again. Uh, and I didn't want to put him through consistent recovery. Uh, and I didn't also want to put myself up in a place where I knew there, there could be failure in the future, after, especially after having kind of my heart broken three times in a row. Then the second most difficult decision was made and that was a decision and a realization which was in order for Sereno to have the life he deserves um, due to his circumstances and everything else I explained, I was going to have to sell him. And this will be a sale that's very transparent, you know, I think this is a great horse if you want to have a hack out, if you want to enjoy him like that. I don't think this is a horse for top sport. I think he could make an amazing breeding stallion in a PRE breeding program or for anybody that's passionate about breeding these type of horses. He holds a lot of, um, he has incredible movements for the breed, he has incredible height and I think with breeding him correctly you could, you could get a really really special horse out of that. So I'm going to be looking for a home that is either a breeding home or someone that just wants to take it really, really easy with him. And for me, the most important thing is that he finds somewhere that's going to be forever and that's going to give him the best life possible. I wish I could facilitate that for him right now, but it's just not, it's just not something that's really realistic for us right now. This board stable where, where he's at, um, this is not a place for you know a horse that is in his position. At home, we don't have any more space. Um, and I need to be a little bit um, selfless and think of him right now and what's important for him. Because of course, I, I could keep him here, but I just don't think this is the life for him. I just think he would thrive and he would be happier um, in other conditions. So the decision has been made. Sereno is going to be sold. As of right now, um, he is for sale. Um, and I would like to urge anybody who's interested to is keep in mind that this is a very painful sale. It's a very serious sale. So only serious inquiries are to email me. Um, I'm looking for a forever home. Sereno is pyro free. This means he can travel worldwide. We are happy to um, have him go to an amazing home in the USA or Mexico. You know, there's incredible breeders over there. Um, we're, we're very much open. Um, you know, he's a, he's a very, very talented horse. There's a lot of quality. A big horse, it's a stallion. Um, he is very quiet, but um, I think he needs to go to someone who is competent, who has had experience with stallions, um, and someone who can really give him the life that he deserves. So to anybody who's um, interested, um, please feel free to email me. I I'm gonna do my best to reply to everybody. I imagine he will. this will be a quick sale, so um, better if you're kind of sitting on the fence, better that you email me and we talk and, and we see something that could be for you. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I just owed it to you guys. You were there from the very beginning of this of this journey, so I wanted to share it with you. And it, and it's difficult because I I feel like in a way, you know, this is not what I had planned. I, this is no, this was not part of our journey together. This it wasn't meant to end like this. Um, and I feel like. I know this, it shouldn't feel like this, but I do feel like in a way I let myself down, I let Sereno down, I let you guys down because it was meant to be, this was not meant to be how the story ended. Um, but I also have learned that life is unpredictable, especially with horses. Um, and I think it's important to share the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, and I guess that's what today's video is about. The important thing now really is just finding somewhere where he will be loved and where he can thrive. And I was thinking about this before sitting down to film this video and it's funny because either right now or sometime in the future, the, the new owners of Sereno are gonna be watching this. And to you, I just wanna say um, thank you for taking him on. Um, for giving him the love that he deserves. I know you have a horse with a heart of gold that will give you everything, who will make you smile every day, who will love you. Um, and I'm really, really grateful for you taking him on and, um, and sharing the rest of the journey with him. Um, and I hope that in a small way, I can still be part of that journey. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for today's video. Um, 
I'm sorry for keeping this from you guys for a little bit, but I only wanted to do it when I felt like I was ready and when I, when I was... And I'm sorry for keeping this video from you guys for so long. I know a lot of you were worried and were wondering, uh, but I hope you can understand not only did I have to be ready to make this video, but I also kind of wanted to for sure know that this was the right thing because I feel like once I say it, it's, it's said and it's done and there's no going back. So it did take a while for me to also get to that, that spot. Um, but thank you all so much for the support um, and also for following Sereno's journey. Um, I'm really hoping to be able to, um, if the new owners allow it, kind of share where he's going and uh, the final departure as well. Um, until then though, um, I'll, I'll try and share a little bit more of updates as we go. And um, yeah, it's a strange video to finish, but um, that's it. So thank you all so much for watching um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.